Hello everybody, welcome to another Friday and Storm Eunice is starting to gather pace. Just this morning the bed was rocking a little bit so I hope we're not going to have the roof ripped off today. Let's um, keep our fingers crossed, everything should be alright. Anyway, there we go. Now, I want to talk to you about professional and amateur so professional and non-professional theatre and the comparison non-professional grassroots community theatre amateur whatever you want to call it it's um it's all there so we've been to see everything in the last week we've been to see a couple of west end shows a couple of big touring shows um an amateur show all very very good and with the non-professional show you couldn't tell it apart um, apart from maybe the budget and that's it the size of the audience and the budget I guess um, last Friday we went to see a West End show Life of Pi Monday we went to see um, Waitress the touring the big touring production of the West End show Waitress Tuesday we went to see Sheila's Island which is Tim Firth's gender swapped Neville's Island is exactly the same and I met Tim at the production as well Tim was there because Guildford's, Guildford's Yvonne Arnold Theatre are producing it and it's going to go on tour now to about 10 different, 12 different venues which is fantastic, maybe more, I don't know but um, we'll see what happens after that and that's very very good but he literally was able, he told me this so it's direct from the horse's mouth he told me he was able, and I've been in it, I've, been, I've played Neville in Neville's Island, um, set in Manchester, the oil from Salford. Um, he literally was able to swap she's for he's for she's, his for she, hers, and that kind of thing. Um, and obviously the names have to be swapped, but the plot is exactly the same as Neville's Island, Sheila's Island. I don't know whether Sheila... Um, is a bit of um, um, an Australian bit of competition for Amanda Whittington's Ladies Down Under. I'm not sure. Didn't ask him that much. But there we go. So that's interesting. Then the next day, Wednesday, we went back to the West End to see Les Mis. And it's the first time I've paid for theatre tickets for many a year. Um, no press tickets for that one. No review for that one, so well, that was obviously brilliant. And that's the new staging, the new version of Les Mis, excellent. Lots of digital screen at the back, um, lots of um, wizardry going on. And Thursday, yesterday, I went to see, let me see, in Putney, the non-professional production, Killology, um, directed by Ian Hyman there. And that was brilliant quite brilliant and the reason I go is I've been to see all these shows and the reason I'm talking about it is on today's video is because I want you to please if you can go and see as much professional theatre as possible because I'm I haven't asked him but I'm sure Ian must have seen um, the Royal Courts um, production of opening production original production of Killology by Gary Owen it's brilliant it's it's a three-hander it's very small and it's all about the power of video games and gaming and whether violence um, and brutal video games have an effect on young people coming into the real world if they play it enough does it affect their minds their brains I think personally I think it does I think the subconscious is very computerized, computer similar. Um, I think we built computers on the style of our own brain, and I think our own brain develops. It's very easy to compare how our subconscious works and how our computer works. The more you put into it, the more strong the, the memory streams are. So if you play lots and lots and lots of violent and brutal computer games, then I'm not surprised why people think it's okay to go out and commit awful crimes. 
but that's what happens and that's what Killology is all about it's what it's based on is a three hand that is about a father and a son that's been murdered and brutalized and it's about the third person is the gamer the head of the gaming company called Paul Leonard and he's very rich he's made a lot of money from gaming and he's he's the sort that has no empathy for and he just washes his hands of any responsibility of anything that goes on anyway my reviews online so look up the sardines website www.sardinesmagazine.co.uk go to reviews and look up the latest one I've done um, which is Putney Theatre Company Ian Hyman's directed um, Killology by Gary Owen is very very good very very good and the point is go and see as much professional theatre as you can if, it, if it's West End, if it's off West End if it's Fringe, if it's Touring, doesn't matter go and see as much as you can because if you're inspired to maybe perform that production that you've just seen by the big budgets, the creativity because let's face it professional shows often have bigger budgets than amateur shows non-professional shows, it just goes without saying if we're not getting paid for it we're not charging the ticket prices that big professional shows can charge I mean the West End show for Les Mis can cost upwards of £100 and they're packed, I promise you Every single matinee and evening for Les Mis is absolutely packed and it's brilliant. But we're going to put this in the next issue about ticket prices in the West End touring amateur shows and comparing the two. By the way, our, our survey is below, our link to our survey is below this video, so have a little look at it. Look, it's just down there. Look, the link is right down there, so have a look. Click on the link take the survey on ticket prices and we we'll go from there it's very easy 10 short questions so um, we'll go from there um, lovely and yeah if if you've got a creative director that knows what they're doing if you've got a strong cast that know what they're doing there's no reason why dramatic versions of non-professional shows can't be as good as professional shows there's no reason there's no reason why and the proof was in the pudding yesterday um, when I went to Putney Theatre Company, to Putney Arts Theatre, to see the company. It's only in their studio, their black box studio theatre, and it's really good. And you should you should go and see it if you can. It's, it's only on till tomorrow, Saturday the 19th, so you might have to miss it. But there we go. But that's it for now. Just a little rant at um, professional theatre, non-professional theatre why the two are comparable. It's cheaper to go to non-professional theatre, remember. Tickets were probably short, shy of £18 a ticket. And in the West End, that would have been £100 or £50 or whatever it would have been. So even if it's off West End, um, in one of the pub theatres or something smaller, it would have been, I don't know, comparable maybe, but it still would have been more money probably twenty something pounds but anyway there we go so that's it for now and um, that's why we that's why we interview professional people at Sardines because we want to involve the professional theatre industry because that's what we emulate to that's what we try and be compared to we love it when people come up to us after a show and say that could have been professional you should you should make that professional you should go to the professional theatre with that um, because, um, fantastic, if we love it so much, if we love being called professional quality, then why don't we involve ourselves in professional theatre and then bring it back to inspire us in what we do with non-professional theatre? It makes sense, of course it makes perfect sense. So there we go, that's it. Stay safe, stay well. Let's hope we um all batten down and um, there's, there's a lot of services off today, isn't there? Let's hope we all batten down. Um, stay well. We're back. See you later. Bye for now.